critical in that first of all the auditor general does a sterling job. No wonder why as parliament which wanted to be removed, we refused. What we must be asking ourselves is the recommendations that she gives. What then happens to them? I mean, I was just saying today there is no point for the Minister of Finance to allow or even us as Parliament to pass any budget to any ministry that is not complied with those recommendations. But for a very long time that has happened. The issue that you bring up that there is no political will, it's important. Honorable Mona is here. He's a professional, he's one of the few men in Parliament I think knows what he's doing. And despite him belonging to the, to the, the, the ruling party, he's progressive. But there, there lies the problem. Is the ruling party prepared to have its ministers go to jail? No. This is where the weeping system is. While all this work is done, where does it stop? The ruling party is not prepared to have one of its ministers. Once that happens, they then caucus the weeping system, which you must understand. They then meet at the HQ to say, no, 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 no. Ramaku Itaif has reached and got to expose the minister. Okay, expose the minister. We sang and we are suffer. Zochi, Zochi, Thira Ipab. So that's all I wanted to say. But for as long as you, we are here wasting time. If the ruling party is not prepared to walk the talk on corruption and see its ministers being put in prison.